Hey what's up, Last Layer King here. Today I'm going to go over another algorithm set you can use with advanced weak swap. Before watching this video you're going to want to understand how to weak swap both edges and corners and be familiar with double weak swap. So if you haven't seen the prior videos I've made on those concepts, go watch them. But let's get into the algorithm set. So this one is called 3E3C because it's going to cycle three edges and three corners. The idea is that you're going to weak swap two edge targets to make a three cycle and then you're going to weak swap one corner target. So a three cycle you could make for edges would be this one. This is the standard double weak swap cycle that I would recommend uh, for the UB buffer. It'll be UB to UF to UL. And then you're going to want to weak swap your corner to UFL. So you're going to have the buffer piece in the UFL location. So you'll have a cycle like this where the second target of the cycle happens to be UFL. And this is basically the set. We've got buffer to here to here and corner buffer to somewhere to here. So there are going to be 18 algorithms in this set because there could be any of six corners that are needing to be cycled. Any of them can have three different orientations. A lot of them are RUD gen and I will have an algorithm sheet in the description that will solve all 18 of those cases. Another weak swap cycle you can set up on edges is this one where we have UB to UR to UL. This you would set up if you are unable to do a double weak swap on UF, but you can do a double weak swap on UR. So this one occurs a bit less commonly, but it's still somewhat common. And then once again, your corner cycle will be buffer to somewhere to UFL. So this set I'll also include in my algorithm sheet. If your buffers are UF and UFR, then the weak swap cycle you would set up is UF to UB to UR, and then on corners it'll be UFR to somewhere to UBR. And I'll include an algorithm sheet with these algorithms as well. Along with the algorithms for uh, this cycle, UF to UL to UR. So this will be the other secondary double weak swap cycle you would set up. So if you can't double weak swap on UB, you can double weak swap on UL instead, and you'll find the algorithms for all of these cases in the description. Since I've already gone over all the concepts necessary to do 3E3C in prior videos, this is best demonstrated through example solves. So here we have our first scramble. Uh, I will put the scramble in the video somewhere. So starting with edges, we have buffer to here to here. And now we hit the buffer piece, so we'll weak swap it to UL. So we'll go here to here, which goes here to here, which goes here, and we hit the UL piece. So we'll double weak swap this to UF. We have to go to the side sticker because we hit the side color here. So this goes to here, which goes to here, and we hit the UF piece, so we need to cycle break somewhere. So we'll cycle break it to here, which goes to here to here, and this finishes the cycle. So we end up with 12 targets, and we should have a UB to UF to UL swap at the end of it. Now going on to corners, we have buffer to here to here, to here, and we hit the buffer piece, so we're going to weak swap it to UFL. So this is going to go to here, which goes to here to here, which goes to here, and we hit the UFL piece. So our last cycle will be to here to here. So now solving corners, we have buffer to here to here, and then buffer to here to here. And then we have buffer to here to here. And then the one thing you really need to make sure you do when uh, you get to your last cycle is you need to keep this cycle on the cube until you finish your edges. So you're not going to solve your last corner cycle, you're just going to uh, leave this on the cube so that you can solve it as you're doing your last edge cycle. So now going on to edges, we have buffer to here to here. Buffer to here to here. So now we've weak swapped the buffer to UL. So now we have buffer to here to here. To here to here. And this is our double weak swap. So now we have UL in the UF location. Now we have buffer to here to here. And buffer to here to here. So now we have this three edge cycle left on the cube, and because we left this corner cycle on the cube, we can finish the solve with the 3E3C. 
Here is our second example solved. So we will start with edges and we have a solved buffer. So we're going to just immediately weak swap it to UL. So we have buffer to here, to here, which goes to here, to here, which goes to here. And we're gonna double weak swap this piece to UF because we hit the UL piece. So this will go to here. This goes to here, to here, which goes to here. And we hit the UF piece, so we need to cycle break. So we'll shoot this piece to here. This goes to here, to here, to finish edges. So now for corners, we have our buffer twisted in place. So we're going to weak swap it to UFL. So this piece will go to here, which goes to here. And we hit the UFL piece, so we need to cycle break again. So we're gonna cycle break it up to here, which goes to here, to here, to here, to here, finishing the cycle. And we have a corner twist. So we're going to cycle break into the corner twist. So the way I cycle break in a corner twist is I make the first target of the cycle whatever target has the white or yellow sticker. So we'll go here to here. And the second target will be on the bottom. So this will go to here to finish the cycle. And then because we have weak swap, we're going to finish with buffer to here to here. So now solving corners, here to here to here. And then we cycle broke to here to here. And then we had to here, to here. And then we had here, to here, and then we cycle broke into this one. And then our last cycle would be buffer to here, to here. So we will leave this cycle on the cube so that we can solve it while solving our edges. So now going on to edges, we had buffer to here, to here. So now our buffer piece is weak swapped in UL. Buffer to here, to here. Buffer to here, weak swapping to here. So now we have our double weak swap. Now we had here, to here. And then buffer to here, and then we cycle book to here. And then buffer to here, to here. And now we have our three cycle that we weak swapped on edges and we have this uh, cycle on corners ending on UFL. So we can finish the cube with the 3E3C. That is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed these algorithms and this algorithm set and I will catch you in the next video.